All right, this set of slides is gonna be about the integumentary system lab. So we're gonna go through a few models and a few microscope slides. So this is a model of the skin. So I'm gonna point out a few things here. So we have the epidermis, dermis, hypodermis down here. And focusing on the epidermis, we have our different layers. So stratum basal, uh, stratum uh, spinosum, stratum granulosum, and then here we have stratum lucidum only in the thick skin, and then stratum corneum on the surface. As far as the dermis goes, we have all this area of the dermis. We have the papillary region, and we have the reticular region. And so papillary is areal or connective tissue with these dermal papillae. Reticular region has the dense irregular connective tissue. If we look at all the structures found here, so I guess we can start by focusing on the dermal papillae. Here's a Meisner corpuscle here. This is a free nerve ending, just look like dendrite endings. This is a Pacinian corpuscle. And these are sweat glands with coiled up structures. So the big ones that empty into hair follicles are apocrine. The other ones that are smaller and go to the surface are the merocrine, also called ecrine. Notice when you take a cross section of it or cut through it, it looks like a bunch of little uh, tubes or a bunch of circles. If you just envision cutting through that, because that's what it's going to look like on the microscope. As far as the hair follicle goes, you get the bulb, you get the uh, papillae of the hair, the matrix, and then uh, where the cells divide and push up, different layers of the hair follicle, which you can't really see too much here, not too much detail. Uh, here's your erector pili muscle that makes the hair stand up. He, these are your sebaceous or oil glands secreting into the hair follicle. And the last thing I'm going to point out is that this is thick skin. You can see it because it has the stratum lucidum. So this would be from the palms or the soles and also has a, has a very thick stratum corneum. This has an apocrine sweat gland. So this would be like the armpit region. So where we have apocrine sweat glands. And over here would just be everywhere else. So this is saying it's the scalp. So everywhere else. And this is the same picture, just kind of zoom, if you want to zoom in on any of those areas. Another model, uh, so similar things. So you get the epidermis, dermis, hypodermis. Same thing, you get the uh, thick skin here. That extra little layer is the stratum lucidum. And so this would be the palm of the soles. This big gland here is apocrine. The only thing that's really inaccurate here is this duct should be going into a hair follicle. So this is apocrine, so this would be the armpit. And then over here would be like the scalp, everything else. So these smaller sweat glands are the merocrine or ecrine sweat glands. I'm seeing a erector pili muscle here on the hair again. These are the sebaceous glands here, here sebaceous glands. Meisner corpuscles up in the dermal papillae. Uh, we have Pacinian corpuscle here. So those are the big things in this uh, in this model. Another picture of the same model, just kind of separated by section. So looking at a microscope slide now of the hair. So you see the hair follicle here, and you can actually, when you look closely, you can actually see the papillae of the hair. the The matrix would be like right here, it's dividing cells, pushing out. Uh, other structures that you can see in this slide. If you look closely, you see some sebaceous glands right here. Those secrete oil into the hair follicle. So there's sebaceous glands here, here, there's more here, and I see some over here. If we look at the nail, um, so the anatomy of the nail, remember? So this would be the nail going this way. This would be the, the surface that you would be looking at. Um, so the nail plate is lying on the nail bed. The root is in here, the matrix is here. This is where the cells divide and push out. And then the eponychium or the cuticle is here. And then another picture kind of going the opposite way. Um, so this is going to be, kind of, you're looking at this kind of upside down where the part you would see would be right, right here. But um, so here's the root of the nail underneath the skin. Here's your cuticle or eponychium. The matrix is here where the cells divide the nail bed, and the plate. The free edge would be out here somewhere. Same with this picture, the free edge would be out here. 
we look at some more view of another view of sebaceous glands or oil glands, here's a good picture of it. So next to a hair follicle. Here's another one. You can see a hair follicle there. Here's some more sebaceous glands. There's actually some more here. And you can also see some sweat glands in here. So see how it looks all like a bunch of circles because you cut through that coiled up portion of the sweat gland. So here, here, another gland here and here. And then this slide, I see some sweat glands here and here also. And more pictures of sweat glands. So this is really zoomed in. Here's a big sweat gland here. You see, it just looks like when they cut through that coiled up region, it looks like a bunch of circles. And then as far as over here, sweat glands here. And then here's a Pacinian corpuscle right here. And moving on to the sensory receptors, Pacinian corpuscle, here's a Pacinian corpuscle, Pacinian corpuscle, remember they sense pressure and vibration. And it looks like uh, a lot of concentric rings might look like an onion that's cut in half. Then Meisner corpuscles are found in the dermal papillae. So there's one, and here's another good one, and here's another one.